Nice. Pepper, Lord Peppery. I think he'd be Cloud for the top eight, right? Is Peppery still Peppery switch characters though, right? Just walk up command throw. That's what I was talking about. The walk up command throw was the part that's like you motherfucker. You just try to walk up on, especially because he had sparking and four bars, and he just ended with level three. Walk up command throw. That was sick. What do I think of base Goku? I think he's all right. I don't think he's that hot. To be honest, the initial hype about base Goku and base Vegeta. I don't think base Vegeta is all that ridiculous. I think he's all right. He's like, you know, he's good. LK lost to Yohozi winner side. I don't remember who LK lost to or uh, beat to make it in the top eight. I know that Peppery, Peppery beat Cloud, right? So I think most people think that 16 is still the strongest anchor or one of the best anchors, right? I think Gotenks is a good anchor too. can't go wrong you can't go wrong with a 16 anchor or a go tanks anchor yeah tian's great tian anchors uh is great i really like um i really like lk's team to be honest i think this is a great ginyu team a beam would be nice right ginyu likes beams man that's so loud how close is that wow that's like right next to me okay that makes sense I like. I think this is a good Ginyu team. Uh, yeah, I like Peppery not trying to give him space in the beginning. Yeah, because you don't want, you don't want uh, Ginyu to have time to start setting up, right? The longer you give Ginyu to set up, the scarier it is. Wow, he didn't do Raccoon Beam there. Birder, yeah, Birder for offense is pretty good actually. The legs are are pretty decent to run up and, and try to make mix-ups off. Of. Oh no! I like the man. The late wake up was such a great idea from Peppery there, right? Goldo, Dragon Rush plus Raccoon Beam, classic. This is just, this is really really solid, right? Go tanks, you have the the donut. You do Goldo to scream, lock them down. Raccoon Beam, Dragon Rush. This is a really common, very strong Ginyu offensive sequence. I like it a lot. Cannon, Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. That's a great, great start to the match for LK. Is Ginyu high tier? Yeah, Ginyu is a very strong character. He's not the best character, but I, I think he's very good. I think people, a lot of people really like him in this version of the game. I, I mean, to be honest with you, even by the end of last version, I think most people recognize that he was a good character. Yeah, assist here, late air dash, go for the low. Float back, yep. I like it a lot. Set up the ghosts again and spark to get out of there. You got level two sparking, uh, Zamas. This is uh, this is pretty good for LK, right? I think he's pretty happy with getting that sparking forced out. Oh no, are you gonna guard cancel or are you just gonna guess? All right, he blocked the low correctly. Orb set up. Yeah, a little too far away. Go tanks is very small. Oh boy. <laughs> That'll never not feel good, by the way. As a 16 player, that'll never not feel excellent. It's just a great idea, too. Stagger. Oh, he misses instant air dash. Set him up again. Reflects this time. Dragon Rush. Yeah, if you see him reflecting a setup like that, Dragon Rush, right? To force him to change up his defensive option. Donut. Yeah, 17 looks fun. I like the reflect. LK plays Gotenks, so he's he's seen that kind of setup before, right? Wake up reflect is great. It's one of those options that you have to represent a lot to make your opponent really deal with it. Wow, he really wanted to bait the jump. Yeah, that was nice. He just waited. Run up, wait. Level three. I like Pepper's team. It's cool. Oh my! That was a reset. Actually, I didn't even combo. 
I mean, Reflect's not amazing. You can't do it out of block stun, right? If you played a game with a push block, you're like, man, Reflect sucks. Wow, you had to set up the orbs there? That was a cool combo. Does the Moss level 3 get more advantage the higher in the air it hits? That's a good question. Like, um, Kid Buu. Like, Kid Buu assist uh, is more advantage when uh, you hit it in the air. Yeah, set up the orbs there. This is a nice assist to allow him to do that, right? This is one thing that Zamas de kind of demands in a partner. Air H, go tanks. Let's him sets up the orbs with the uh, go tanks assist, and then he gets the fall mix up here with the orbs overhead. Wow, dude, LK mash. The LK mash. He can do a level two here into the level one. Wow, I just did a level three. Oh, it didn't kill. Nice level three. Reaction. You know that with that out, right, LK p feels pretty safe. You know what I mean? He feels pretty safe. Super Dash, he had his assist available. He had uh, Jason Burder coming in. Like, you feel pretty safe. So that that was a pretty good level three to, to catch the Aaron Super Dash. Spark. Level three, and then, uh, yeah, he's going to spark if he gets the next hit. Okay. Even if Peppery finds a hit here, yeah, he's dead. Even if Peppery found a hit there, unlikely he would kill. And then Spark was a big threat for LK. Some also without an assist as a final character can be a little tough, especially if you don't have meter. He's a little, de he's a little demanding on meter, I think. And he he loves assist to help him out. And I think Go Tanks is a better anchor for uh, Peppery's team. So yeah, nice. Go tanks. Yeah, that was a solid reflect. Donut. There generally tends to be a little bit of a gap there. Raccoon beam. That was a great break. Peppery was ready on defense. You know what I wanted to see Peppery do there was yeah, Goldo is a cheating little motherfucker. I wanted him to try to dragon rush. You use the shoulder, go tanks assist, Goldo, ID over, there's no cross up protection, it's like an instant cross up. ID back, and then still get the combo. It avoids the normal cross up protection that a lot of assists have. Set up the Ginyu Force again. Raccoon Beam is excellent, by the way. One of the best, uh, one of the best beams. Probably the best, actually. Because you, you have so much time to run up and combo off of it. I can't think of a beam better than Raccoon Beam, so yeah. Oh no, he's gonna get him out of here, right? Give Vegeta out? Yeah. You sacrifice incoming mix up, but you also give Vegeta away, so you I'm sure you're fine with that. You think Krillin's beam is better than Raccoon? Raccoon is, yeah, Raccoon's a monster. See this Raccoon beam? Oh my god, I don't even know if he saw it get on the, uh, I don't know if he saw it even come out, right? It was pretty hard to see, because he did Goldo Raccoon pretty fast. Right, Goldo, 16, Raccoon, and he runs off screen. Yeah, Krillin's beam is good. I was thinking of assist beams. I guess if you could think about it in general. It's an interesting thing to think about. But even so, Raccoon is pretty high up there. I like this combo. Because the orbs are going to hit again. Yeah. That was a cool extension. I don't run up over it. 
the same height, but yet his hitboxes are insane. <laughs> yeah, he tried a 2H. I think reading maybe a uh, ID from LK. Nice. That was a good. That was a good pickup. He was just doing the air dash right to try to get offense. TK the level three. Nice. Yeah, he TK'd the level three. You get a better setup off of it. Well, he just ran up low anyway. Best beam on point is go tanks. I think. Uh, I think it's all right. Go tanks' beam is good, but better than. Krillin's good too. I like I like uh, Gotenks' beam a lot though, actually. The Shao Cancel, I think when Shao Cancel was faster for mix-ups and stuff too, I think it was, yeah, it was crazy. Wow, Donut? You know what that was? That was probably a reflect. That was probably like he went from uh, one side to the other and he was blocking cross-up, trying to reflect. Yeah, TK is like an instant air. You do it right off the ground. That sucks, man. That guy's inputs got all smoked. I do not. Yeah, I don't blame him for not blogging that. Big damage. I've talked a lot about learning commentary uh, on my YouTube channel. That's where I would recommend. Yeah, he pushed him out of the Gotenks beam there in that setup, so he could uh, backdash and get away from it. Machine gun punches. Wow, that second 2L hit him, but he just didn't believe. Air dash over with the Zamas. That was nice. It looked like it was going to be the same thing he just did, right? So, that was nice. Smoke him. I like Peppery's uh, choice there. If you're LK, I think the situation is fine if you can get a hit and snap really fast. Oh no. And I think if you're peppery, you probably want to fly and wait with Zamas, right? Yeah, you just want to wait. Get Gotenks' health back. Now Gotenks is just fine. Set him up. He's solo. Will he guard cancel? Yeah, caught him low. Orbs are out. Should be able to kill here. Level one, level one. Oh, he doesn't even need level one, level three. Dude, there's like nine helicopters flying around. <laughs> done and dusted. The Fiji water on deck. Man, they have simultaneous water, but obviously LK with the Fiji water. It's because he's got the esports jersey. I got you. Can afford the Fiji water. Goldo, yeah, that's so hard to block, dude. Raccoon's next, right? He's got Raccoon Beam for Oki here. Ginyu Force is always a set order. If you guys haven't played Ginyu, and um, memorizing what's next is very easy, actually. Yeah, Bird or Tick Throw. Man, like, you see how much screen carry he got right there? You know what that reminds... Oh, I think he missed what he tried to do there. That reminds me of, like, MKX... Uh, it reminds me of MKX uh, hat. Kung Lao hat. The Goldo hits on the other side there by himself. Yeah, so uh, you have to still block the point character. But when you instant air dash over, it's an immediate cross-up, and there's no cross-up protection, right? Most other assists, there's there's cross-up protections on situations like that where instant overheads happen or instant uh, cross-ups happen. Yeah, Solo Jace just throws a regular key blast, and then the other version he got him. The other version is um, um, the storm that they do together. Purple Hurricane. Yeah, I mean, uh, it looks like he's airborne, but I, I, you know, I could be incorrect. The level three is going to come out. It's not going to kill, 
I mean, you can use Jace, but in general, you very rarely see him used by himself. Low that time. He's been doing a lot of delayed air dash, so. I like him just doing 2L after blocking Super Dash there, actually. Wow, yeah. Smoke. That's tough to see. In neutral, in general, you just do that, right? Snap. I think this is a, this is a, yeah incoming spark. I think that's an okay situation for Pepper to snap because if he kills uh, Go Tanks there and 16 Ginyu is left, if 16 dies, Solo Ginyu I feel like is not that scary to deal with compared to most characters. Purple Comet Hurricane. What a move name. As a daily reminder, move names are for nerds uh, generally. Wow, you get 2H off of Vegeta assist there? I didn't know that. I thought he was going to do the double overhead there. You know, I'm kind of surprised Peppery didn't scout the tag. But, because uh, Reflect Tag is so, is very common, right? Goldo, yeah, he had to block after the super dash. Look at how long, the beam is so good. This is this is what I was afraid beams would be like in this game in general. You see this raccoon beam, my man. He run, he even called birder, and he ran across the whole screen. Eraser gun. Oh my god. Shut up, Sammy. Yeah, smoked. Man, you know, the Rocket Fists are excellent. They're a really good projectile. Instant air dash over. He missed uh, the jump M. And it looked like Peppery was up backing anyway. Yeah, try to jump. Stagger pressure. Got him. Whoa, is that like a cross-up setup with Ginyu? That was interesting. Or did he miss something? What was he looking for? Tag, maybe? Couldn't have been tag. I don't know what he was looking for. Eraser Cannon. Yeah, all right. Sammy didn't have the move name right. <laughs> Galaxy Breaker. What the hell? He respected, I guess, the uh, wake up H command throw, I guess, huh? That makes sense. Oh, wake up buns trade. No assist available. Yeah, that's why he did rocket kick. The Sammy, what do you call rocket kick, Sammy? Nice tick. Doesn't even match. Its move name is dumb, so I call it Rocket Kick. You call it Rocket Kick because it's the made-up name that I made up for it. So guess what? You've been living in my world the whole time. Vegeta. I cannot believe that gives him a 2H. It looks so weird, right? He had time to hit to uh, hit confirm that, basically, right? You could see that that was going to not kill, so you had time to just do Galaga. Oh no, he flinched at the last second. Definitely not, you made this decision way before. It's called Rocket Kick, because I call it Rocket Kick, Sammy. You're living in my timeline. Welcome. Welcome to the life. 